We'll guide you through how to make a photo collage in Photoshop. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Creating a collage in Photoshop is super straightforward. The first thing you need to do is head to the top left and go and click on File. Then all you need to do is go down to Automate and hover over it, and then go over to the right and go and click on Contact Sheet like so. You then go and get this pop-up, and firstly, we need to go and choose our source images. So either you can use a folder and use all the images in that folder, or you can go and select the files as well. In this case, I'm gonna go and select a folder, so I'll then go and click on Choose. And then what you wanna do is come down into Document, and you can first of all go and choose the size of it. I like to go and set this to pixels. So what I'm gonna do is go and make the width 1920 and then the height 1080, like so. You can then go and choose the resolution, that's fine with me, and the colors, I don't really change that. Now we can come down to thumbnails, and this is actually what the images are called in the collage. So you can then choose how they're gonna be placed, so I have a cross first. You can then choose if you want to use auto spacing or manual, I'll use auto. And you can then choose the amount of columns and rows you're going to go and have. I know that I've got eight total images, so I don't need five columns and then six rows. All I need is four columns by two rows, but you can go and set yours up depending upon how many images you have. You can then choose if you want to use the file name as the caption, I don't want to, so I'll unselect that. And a setting I like to unselect is flatten all layers as well. Then go and click OK and it'll go and generate it. Now here is the collage and what we can do is go and make adjustments to it. So what you want to do is come over to the bottom right and what you can do is unlink them by just unselecting them just like so. And then what you want to do is select on the photo you wish to adjust, press control T and then what you can do is hold alt and start dragging it and then as you can see you can go and make it bigger while it still fits in its own frame. It doesn't go and expand into other images and you can go and repeat that, select another photo and hold alt and you can then go and adjust it and make it fit into the square or the frame. But what you can do is go and relink it by pressing on the link button and then press control T again and you can then move it around out of its frame as well if you want to go and have it somewhere else and go and change the proportions of things. So there's all types of different things you can do with it. And of course you can go and add text and loads of other things as you usually would in Photoshop. 